Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In this new video I'll show you how to create a totally editable project. Let's get started. With Shift plus A, open the drop-down menu and select the text option. I recommend changing the rotation of the text by 90 degree. Go to the text settings and set the position to center. This is necessary for the effect. By pressing the tab key, you can start editing the text. Press the tab key again to close the editor. For this project I use the Angel Wish font, you can download it for free odefont.com, link in description. To use external fonts in Blender you need to download them to your computer and put them in a folder. I created a font folder and put the font inside it. Now go to the font section of the text editor and click the folder icon. Now just find the folder that contains the font, and select it. To add three-dimensionality to the text, go to the geometry option. Select the extrusion option and enter the value 0.06. Select the round option that you find in the bevel section and set the value to 0.005. The 3D text is ready, we can move on to the editing part. The first step is to change its size on the y-axis, I suggest you use the value 2.3. Go to the modifier section and add simple deform. This project is available on my Gumroad page, link in the description. Set the blend option, enter the angle value 99 degrees. Select the z-axis. Add another simple deform. Select taper. Set Factor to 1.995 Set Axis to Y If you look at your text from the side, you'll see that it's warped. To fix this go to the Restrictions option and select Lock on Z. Last Edit, add another simple deform. Select Stretch Set the factor to 0.165, and use the y-axis. Next step, we need to create the material. Split your screen and open the shader editor option. Add new material. And set the viewpoint to shading. For this material you need to add three nodes, click Shift plus A, and search a noise texture. Repeat the command Shift plus A, and add a color ramp. Select the color ramp node and, with the Shift plus D command, duplicate it. Now you have to connect them using the color option. So how it's work, you use this color ramp to reveal the effect of the noise node, you have to move the black and white color to create the contrast. I use these settings here for the noise texture node. Scale 10. Detail 15. Distortion 2.3 You can temporarily set the roughness to 0, but the best settings are 0.6. Use the second color ramp to add the color you want, it's work like the first one, so if you want more contrast between the two colors you need to move the color arrow to the center. Set the color you like, I use a dark purple and black. Now we need to turn his material into metallic shader. Set the metallic to 1 and the specular to 0. Last thing is to decrease the roughness, I recommend to set 0.165. And that's it, this is the final material for this project. Now we need to set the light. Divides your screen in two. By pressing the T key, you can hide the toolbar. Remove the 3D space and the movement will instead, just uncheck these two checkboxes. Add a camera and move it. With Shift plus add an empty object. Select the camera and go to Object Constraint Properties. And select the option Track 2. This way, the camera will always follow the position of the cube. 
Go to view and select active camera. If necessary, change the distance of your camera. Change the position of the cube to center the text. Duplicate the empty object with Shift plus D, and repositioned in the center, deleting the location values. Go into Empty Object Settings and change the cube to another shape, I will use this empty shape for lights. I suggest you to scale the empty object using the S key. Now set the world brightness to zero and active the bloom effect. Then change the viewport. Add a light with Shift plus A, position it over the text, and make it bigger using the S key and moving the mouse. For this lighting setup, I prefer to use the disc shape because the lighting is less stark. I set the power to 15,000, and set a red color. Last step, I connected the light to the empty object again using the track to option. With shift plus D, duplicate the light and by pressing the G key and the X key, move the light along the X axis. Set the color to white, and change the power to 5000. Duplicate this light and move it on the x-axis to the opposite side. Now you need two front lights to illuminate the text well. I change the camera position slightly, because I want to view the text from below. Duplicate a light and move it on the y-axis. In front of your lettering, this light must be positioned at the bottom to illuminate only the final part of the text. The power for this light is 500, if is it too low you can bring the light closer to the text. Duplicate the light again, and move it away from the text. Press the Y key to move the light along the Y axis, then move the light eye up to illuminate all the text. The power of this light is 1000. This way the lighting will be diffused. To improve the lighting on the whole text, scale the light using the value of the X scale. It's always better to duplicate the lights when using the track to option. This way all the lights are connected to the empty object and if you move it, all the lights will follow the empty object. To make looks better, the entire scene, we need to use a volumetric node in world node. Select the world option in the shader editor. So with shift plus A, add a volume scatter. You must set a dark color, in my case I will use a dark purple. The best settings for this node are Density 1.9 Anisotropy 0.97 Like I said at the beginning of this project, you can change all the settings, and I show you how to do it. When you reopen the file you probably see that the font is changed, don't worry, it's normal, and you only need to find the location of the Angel Wish font and select it again. We start with the most important feature of this project, and it's that you can change your text instantly. If you press the tab key, you can edit your text, press it again when you are done. You need to scale it if your text is composed of fewer letters. Next, you can change the shape. With the first modifier you change the shape of the text following the vertical axis. The second modifier is useful for editing text on the horizontal axis. The last one is used to compress the text. You can play with these settings and create tone of different combinations. You can easily change the both color of your text, 
Select the color you want to change in color ramp node and press at the color editor. You can also easily change the noise texture settings to create different effects on your text, and if you want more contrast you have to use the second color ramp, the closer to the center the nodes black and white sliders are, the higher the contrast. Last thing, you can modify all the lights like you, by changing the color of the light, increasing its power and moving them however you like. You can also change the scatter node volume settings, to create the perfect combination for your lighting, by changing all the values or changing the color. When everything is ready you just need to do the final render, this project is in Eevee and the size of the final file is 3840 by 2160 Thanks for following me to the end, I hope this video was helpful, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss other upcoming content.